Greetings YouTubers and Facebook yeah. fans. Yeah. Today we are going to be uh, having a poll and I want to get you guys in on it because I really really want your opinion. We just took in a 275 genuine old European cut. We're estimating it, um, we have it graded as an MVS2. And before we sent it in for grading, we're strongly contemplating recutting this diamond. And I know for you uh, genuine antique uh, OEC lovers, that would be sacrilege. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, this diamond, this 275, up alongside of what we would consider recutting it to, which would be an August Vintage Old European Cut Round. Um, and we want your opinion. We want, we want to see what you think. Should we leave it alone and let it just be as an old European cut as it is? Or should we recut it to an August Vintage Round? We figured out um, recutting it to an August Vintage Round is still going to get us around a 2.50. Uh, maybe a couple of points over or maybe a couple of points under, but around a 2.5 carat August Vintage Round. All right, so uh, cast your vote, and um, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see a link to it in the description below, and we appreciate your input. Thank you for watching. Now, here's the diamonds. All right, we're going to take a look at these two diamonds um, together in multiple lighting environments. Um, the diamond on the left is a notably smaller uh, August Vintage round. It's a 127 GSI-2 here in the inventory. Um, Plenty of bold, bright reflections under the table, uh, great brightness going down around the edges and whatnot. In the uh, natural old European cut that we have here, I mean, we do see, you know, it's, this is typical of many old European cuts. Um, uh, the facets are dug out around the upper halves, so you could see that darkness around the perimeter of it. Um, you could see the darkness under the table. Okay. Um, in this old European cut. We're going to go by the window and take a look at um, these diamonds in natural daylight too. Both of them have tool crowns and small tables, you know, so they both, uh, you know, they both have that old, you know, they both of them with the same facet structure. Okay, now we're going to look at fire. Okay, this is in our dimmer spotlighting. And you can see those bold, chunky flashes popping off the uh, August Vintage round on the left. Um, there are, you do got smaller um, reflections of light happening in the natural uh, OEC on the right. Okay, it does have sparkle. Okay, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a train wreck, not by, not by a long shot. Okay, but different type of sparkle patterning happening right now. I'm going to show you stronger spotlighting. All right, this is our uh, typical spotlighting on steroids here. And, um, you know, <laughs> of course you got fire coming out of this guy here. All right. It's not lifeless. It's not the, all, the, all the facets are not functioning like windows, you know, or leaking light. Um, however, we don't get the strong bursts of fire, especially under the table, um, that we're getting in the August Vintage round. So we can cut this mama to be really just as big, no real big discernible difference, but to emanate the fire that this one has. All right. I know there are genuine natural old European cut lovers out there. So your vote um, can likely determine the outcome <laughs> of this diamond. All right. But we're going to go finally, last but not least, into uh, natural daylighting. But um, my natural inclination would be to recut it to this because I have no emotional attachment <laughs> to this old European cut. Okay, so I'm, I'm curious to see what our readers and what our, our viewers think we should do. Okay. I'm just kind of moving the light over the diamonds as they stand as static over each, over each stone. All right, now we'll go by the window. All right, and here we are by the window, looking in natural uh, daylight. Okay, so here's these two diamonds in natural daylight. Now, um, 
you know, we can see similar optical characteristics in natural daylight, like we saw in the uh, indoor diffused just a moment ago. So what, what do you think we should do with this uh, 275? Should we recut it to look like the diamond on the left? Make the symmetry picture perfect and the uh, optical performance uh, just increase the amount of bright reflections and fire in it? Or should we leave it alone? Okay. <laughs> You know, both of these diamonds have positive characteristics to each of them. Okay. So, let us know your thoughts and thank you for watching.